Let's take out our handy crystal ball. Right there, next to our iPhones and Blackberries. What sort of world will our kids enter? It will be multinational, multicultural, digital, handheld, real, virtual, propelled by images and music as much as words. It will be both more hopeful and frightening than any age before it. And, like it or not, keenly competitive. In that world, their world, factories and foundries won't rule the day, but ideas, unshackled, integrated, 360-degree imagination. So, we have to ask ourselves, is now the time to pull the plug on arts in schools? The arts, which enhance every aspect of education, from reading and math to critical thinking, social skills and motivation. The arts, where dance, drama, music and motion help young children turn the ABCs into actual literacy. The arts, often the final link tethering at-risk kids to school. Arts woven through a curriculum change have-to into want-to and create places of teacher innovation, community engagement, spirit, and common ground. And while 93% of Americans see arts as vital to a well-rounded education, you wouldn't know it from our Cut Arts First policies. Which brings us to our mission. Brains come with two sides for a reason. They need each other. They fill in each other's voids. One is messy by plan, the other regimented. One is linear, the other bounces off walls. One reasons, the other feels. But what happens when they work together is magical. Magical enough to make kids connect, achieve, aspire, succeed. In a future that needs the full measure of our thinking, we can't leave kids half interested, half motivated, half engaged, half ready. Remember the right brain. It's not an education without it. The Right Brain Initiative.